Hello everyone, and you're watching Cooking with the Word. Today, we're making dirty dogs. No, not that kind of dogs. We're going to be making dirty water hot dogs. It's going to be so good. Homemade chili. Wait, we'll be right back. Got the chili on. All homemade. We're going to do a, uh, a show just for the chili. Uh, it's a homemade recipe that Grandma used to make, so it's going to be awesome. So now, the key to the dirty water dogs, you got to have dirty water. So we're going to make some dirty water. Okay, we're going to start out using the same frying pan that we browned our burger in to make the chili. It's got the oil and some, uh, some uh, still uh, crumbles of burger left in it. We're going to start with that. We're just going to put some, some water in here and get it boiling. While it's getting ready, we're going to add some onions. Got some larger chunk onions here. Let's get that into the water. Now I used spring water, but now you can use any kind of water that you that you want. It's gonna get good and hot. This is a half of a large onion. Get all that in there. We'll add some seasoning, salt. Looks like some good broth there already. Some garlic powder. Just add some. and a couple of bay leaves. Let them float around in there. Ah, yes, we got to a boil. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Boil a little bit there. Now, apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna put just a splash or so in it. Now, yes, it's true, cinnamon. I'll give it a little bit of a sweet taste. And also, honey. No honey? Yes, honey. No honey? Yes, honey. Get that cooking good. See what will happen. The hot dog carts didn't have a lot of ways to uh, change their water, so they put in fresh water on Mondays. It wouldn't change it out until the next week, and they got to notice that on Fridays, the hot dogs were much better than they were on Mondays. Reason being, the, the water that they kept them in and cooked them in every day just kept getting better and better, and some people might say dirty. It wasn't really dirty, but it was just it was full of all this different things that fell into it, which made it better and transferred the, the, the taste to the weenies. So that's what we're mimicking today. We're going to just do it in a lot faster way. So a lot of people does it in pots. I'm actually doing it in a frying pan. This is going to make it better. We've got some... Uh, Bun size, ballpark, all beef, weenies, franks, wieners, whatever you want to call it. We'll drop those in. Get those cook in good together. Oh, this is going to be so good. Get eight of those in there. I'm going to let it come to a, to a boil one more time, and then I'm going to just cut it back and let them simmer for a little while. Okay, we got that up to a boil. Now, look at that. Don't that just look absolutely amazing? All cooking together. I think that'd make a good soup right there. So we're going to cut it back and let it just simmer now. 
just a little while. Okay, look at this now. We got some Nathan's buns. Get these out. Let me give them a try. Okay, and put the toppings on, the condiments. Okay, now we're gonna do something special. Something maybe you've never seen before. We got the, the weenies out and uh, we got off some to excess. Now we're gonna make a special topping. We're gonna take the, coles, the uh, coleslaw mix, the cabbage. We're gonna put it right on top of you. Right in the broth. Bought this stuff already cut up just simply because it is just so much easier. Put that down in there and we're gonna let that sit and cook just for just a minute. We'll get this tossed around a little here. Mix it in with the onions. Let's get everything just all mixed together. It's gonna get all that good taste right into that cabbage. We'll let that set and simmer on warm just a few minutes. Let it cook in just a little. Yeah, I know that looks amazing, don't it? Okay, let that cook just a little bit. Okay, now let's check our cabbage. That's simmering good. We just wanted to try to take it on some of the flavors that was in the water. We'll take that out. Put it over in a bowl. Oh, that smells so good. Wow. Put that all over here. Now we're gonna stir in a slaw dressing mixture that we come up with. And if you're anything like me, I do love coleslaw on the hot dogs. I'm from Appalachian Mountains, West Virginia, so that's, that's the only way you can eat a hot dog is with some coleslaw in it. Coleslaw and chili, look at that. Okay, Jessica, we're sitting at the table, so you know what that means? We get to eat. It's showtime. <laughs> we get to try it out, okay? So we got a few things that we're gonna add on top, but first I just wanna make sure I know what you want, okay? Do you want mustard on yours? Yeah. Okay, you want mustard? A little bit. You open mustard, make sure you do this a couple of times first because you don't want to get all water. Got a mustard. Do you want ketchup? No. Oh, me either. No ketchup. Okay. No ketchup. Chili? I want y'all to look at this chili. This chili is amazing. This is Jessica's homemade chili that her grandmother used to make. It's her grandmother's recipe. She's talking about maybe doing a show on how to make this. Look how chunky that is. Now this is not sauce. That's chili. Mm -mm. That's chili right there. Yeah, that's chili. So you gotta take a spoonful at a time and put it in here. There, right there, put hair on, hair on your chest. <laughs> I don't want hair on my chest. I'll agree with you on that. I don't want hair on your chest either. I don't have much on mine. I definitely don't want any on yours. I'm just thankful to have hair on your head. Up here. Mm -hmm. Let's get that on there. Look. Folks, would you look at that? No, it's never enough. Okay. This is the the uh cabbage that we cooked in the same dirty water that we put the wingers in, the weenies in, mm -hmm. the frankfurters. And we use that water to steam our cabbage. Then we add the, the coleslaw dressing that we came up with. Man, that smells good. Mm -hmm. For you, ma'am? It's a lot. Because we're a lot of people. Yeah. We worked hard this week and we deserve a lot, you know? Okay. It's got the onions. Onions is enough to put me in, in a stupor. But they should be cooked good. More? No. 
Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Is this the time to ask? If you are not following us, please follow us. If you have not liked this video yet, it's so important for you to like this video, right? Yes. This guy, and just watching it is great. We appreciate you watching it, but it's so important to watch this video. Dirty dogs. Yeah. Not like Reese. No. But these kind of dirty dogs. This is going to be amazing. Share us, like us, uh, follow us, please. We need all the help we can get. You ready? That is going to take a lot to get this in your mouth. Ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. Mm. Now that's good. I'm not brave enough. <laughs> I didn't get any slaw, but it's okay. It tastes the slaw like something is that slaw is awesome. Yeah, it's really good. It tastes like something maybe at a, a, a carnival. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so good. Dirty dogs, the Muncie Mountain Way. These these are awesome. Yeah. Mm. The buns are good too. We gotta make more of these. Okay. These are great. Look at them. The dripping juices down is dripping rain. down. These are absolutely amazing. Dirty dogs in Muncie Mountain Way, made in the dirty water. Make sure you try this. Wow, these are so good. But until next week, we appreciate every one of you. From Mike and Jessica. Jessica. Yeah, Jessica. From Mike and Jessica, we appreciate you. May God bless you all.